Hello YouTube, it's Max again, and today I will be showing you another video on Redstone. So, hang on, let me just turn this down so you can get good FPS. So, I'm here. Oh, I'm here. In my little harvesting thing. And I need some meat. And some cooked meat without wasting any of my coal. Well, I think I found a way. So, here you see circuitry. Simple. Redstone, dispensers, and they have water. So dispensers and redstone. Goes all the way down here, with some repeaters along the way to keep the current going, and then it ends up here, at a level. So, let me just place all my pickets and all my cows that I like. Okay, alright. Some little babbies there as well. So, I'm going to start by doing that. So, this is what will happen. You then need to do this. Go over there, turn it off quick. There we go. And there we go. They will start flooding down, apart from you. You need to go down. Go down. God damn it. Okay, never mind him. Now we go down. Alright, I won't show you what's over there. Okay. Some meat here. That's alright. Some meat here. Hang on. And water. Cleans up all the meat. Throws it over there. Normally it will just end up over there. And ta da! You own. Mob your own animal harvester, and it didn't even take a lot to be honest. I'll show you guys, I'll go through it now with you. I'm just um, okay, brilliant. Okay, so I do this, I run for take all the meat with me, and I'm here. I've done some tests before this, so do you know what? I think I'm gonna show you guys again just because I like you. <laughs> He's still there. Okay, bless the little piggy. Um, right. So, this time I'm going to put down a load of them. Literally loads. Full up. I want to show you guys the proper potential of this thing. I'm going to show you guys how much can fit in here and how much you get out of this. If you somehow manage to end up with all of this. <laughs> so, you first do this. Again. And the water sucks them all to the end. They'll all get jammed and... So, I think I might release this early. Okay, there we go. Blocks there have been released. So, every animal starts falling and falling and falling. Almost every animal. Hang on, they're not dead yet. What's it doing? I'm joking. So, now they're all down there. So, I might as well just... This kills about 80-90% to 90 of the mobs there. Apart from the pigs. The pigs don't want to die. Okay. So. And already, you see a lot of meat. So let me go around the back here. I need to sort that out. Um, okay. I go around to my side here. I'm just going to chuck this over for the sake of it. water comes through, puts it all over there, and it will stay there, is it all down, it's down, okay, I think there's a piece over there, I don't even know how that got there, but I open this, I go through, nick all the meat, and I'm out, as quick as a flash, and all the leather, bam, all done, so now I'm going to take you through this part, so, I've inverted the switch, so it's so it's like this. Push plate here, two redstone, then a cobble, and then that a redstone torch. Then it goes all the way around, and because I needed it to go to this one, I did this. I just 
did the second piston there, but the first one would normally go there. It goes up and into that. So it's always pushed, so there's nothing that can go through it unless you go on this pressure plate. That gl there's a, th that's a glass block, pretend. And um, you go through this, wham, take all the meat, closes behind you. It's pretty cool. So now I'm going to take you through the circuitry up here. Mainly this part, because this might be a bit confusing. Actually, I'll take you through this part first. Oh, hang on, let me just slash butcher. There we go. So it goes, oh, maybe not, it doesn't go through that way, it goes through here. As you can see, it keeps on going, keeps on going, and eventually you re this, reach this lever. So that's it, just a few repeaters along the way to keep the current going. Now this is the current, this isn't really hard to realise, I had to do. I, would, I tried to make it automatic, but sadly it didn't work. So. That's as simple as it is. Sticky piston. Wait, are they sticky piston? Yep, they're sticky pistons, redstone, and a lever. That's as simple as it can get. That's as simple as it is. And meanwhile, while I'm here, I'm going to show you through a creation sound made. It's a door. Look. It opens for you. It closes for you. Normally, there's two blocks there. So this is what it looks like. The complete one's over there. That's just a building, so this is how it's made. Redstone, redstone. There's a torch underneath here and a redstone blo block there. So the repeater is made like that. So it's facing that way. I don't know what I recognise. Um, redstone there. And if we go underneath, that leads to there. So it's the same as there. And then it goes under here and through. And that would normally be for the second part. That's simple. And then I made a little wine and dine. <laughs> it's not even hard to be honest guys. All you have to do is that and hook it up to the lever there. Not even hard. Okay. And now this is my automatic redstone door. By Sam, obviously. So opens and shots. Opens, shots. Simple as guys. Me and Sam are going to be making a redstone series of how to do a lot of cool things with redstone. This is the slaughterhouse, this is the all make door, this is the wine and dine table. And thank you for watching guys.